Hello, and welcome to Lesson 3. We are going to be looking at the keypad and the home ribbon. We're going to be looking at uh, explaining the keypad, including the different voices that exist on it, how to do some step edit, note entry, how to use the letter key N to toggle note entry, uh, various ways of copying and pasting, how to add and change instruments, uh, some transposing scores, what, uh, what happens with transposing scores uh, and transposing instruments, as well as how to add and delete bars. So in this first uh, first step here, we're going to talk about the keypad. And if we look at Sibelius, this is the keypad right here. If we if it's not viewed, or if for some reason you should close it, if you go to View, and notice over here under Panels, select Keypad, and it will pop back up. And that is the keypad. Now. The way this keypad is laid out is designed to work uh, in two ways. Either you can click on your notes that you want and then go over and enter your note by clicking wherever you would want it to be. Or this keypad uh, looks like the keypad on your keyboard, uh, the numeric keypad. Now this does not work with the numbers on top of the QWERTY keyboard, only with the numbers on, side of the, on the side of the, uh, the keyboard. And uh, let me uh, show you, <coughs> this is what we're talking about, is this palette over here, the number, uh, the number pad, is designed to work in conjunction with the keypad here. Let me shrink this up a little bit here so I can show you. Okay, so for example, pressing 0 on the keypad will toggle your note and rest. All right, that will toggle this between note and rest. As you can see, as I'm clicking that, I'm getting more rest put in over here. <coughs> the dot adds the dot after the note. For example, that would be, let me click off that, a half note. Add the dot, now it is a dotted half note. As opposed to this slash up here, if I were to press the slash, I would get the staccato note. Notice how that note is already highlighted, so it means it's staccato. The clear works with the arrow. Equals would be uh, your accent marks, uh, again your staccato mark, and then the eighth, uh, excuse me, the uh, little asterisk there would be uh, the dash. And then minus would be go back to the beginning of the keypad plus would be advanced in the keypad. This takes you all the way back to the beginning. If you keep hitting plus, you'll just keep on rotating through the, the various keypads. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 corresponds with your notes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is the half note, 6 is the whole note, 7, 8, 9. So this is a, an easy way to, to navigate if you have a keypad uh, on your, your uh, keyboard. Not all keyboards do have keypads. However, you can get uh, secondary USB or Bluetooth options. Um, as I'm uh, going to show you with this, I'm going to hide Sibelius. And here is a Belkin uh, Bluetooth wireless keypad. And it is uh, set up in the exact same way. So using the same uh, functions over here, we'll control the Sibelius keypad. Okay, now you wouldn't have to worry about uh, these six buttons on this side, but the regular keypad without the F keys uh, is what would control your, your keypad in Sibelius. Now, there is another way uh, to make things a little bit easier with no entry, and that is if you were to get a keyboard, a specific keyboard designed for Sibelius, or to do an overlay. <coughs> and in this case, uh, here's a, an overlay to show you. This is uh, a plastic uh, keypad or keyboard overlay with all the various shortcuts. And unfortunately, let me see if I can get a little bit bigger there. Now that's just going to zoom it out. So that's pretty much as big as I can get it. But if you notice on it, if you can see uh, the various shortcuts that go along, if you were to press the red uh, command key, that's going to give you the commands on the, the keys that are in red. 
uh, if you press the blue shift key then you will get the commands on the keyboard that are in blue okay and uh, this is just an overlay so when you want to use Sibelius so you can overlay it on your keyboard if you have a, a laptop if you have a desktop that has a, a full size uh, Apple keyboard then here's another overlay that you can put on it and you'll take notice that you can see what the uh, the various keypad functions are uh, overlaid right onto the, the keypad of the keyboard. Now another way around that, and this this company, uh, kbcovers.com, gives you a variety of options based on uh, the ver variety of uh, laptops that exist as well as the different keyboards. Apple Wireless Keyboard, oh, apparently that is not available now. The G5 keyboard and the Ultra keyboard. Okay, these are the the overlays for it. However, Logitech also has a keyboard out, and this is not an overlay. These are uh, keys with the the colorings built right into them, all right, or, or labeled right on them. Without you can't remove the. It's not a plastic overlay. This is designed right on the keyboard, and this will as well give you a keypad with all the the functions over here, the variety of note inputs uh, and accent marks and things like that that you have, advancing and, and uh, going back in the keypad. And this is significantly more expensive as this is uh, almost $125. Uh, this comes in two versions for American English and European English, depending on which side of the pond you are on. And if we look at Sibelius Covers, Sibelius Cover is only $40. Let's see. And that stays the same. Oh, $40 for the, the keyboard, uh, the full keyboards. For the smaller laptop keyboards, it's only $29, all right, $30 for that. Okay, so that uh, is uh, just a, a quick demonstration of how you use the keypad.